video clip out called Go Out and Hit It. It's on YouTube and it's on my website. And what it is, that shows uh, Mighty going out and hitting the wall, which is the end of his go out location. Um, and it was teaching him how to, now that he's off of the box, he's off the platform, it's teaching him to go out and hit the wall and then do a turn and sit. And for him, it's worked really, really well because now that his box is gone, his platform's gone, uh, any form of target is gone, it gives him a location to go to and it prevents him from coming forward. Like he likes to come and hit the wall and then he does a real nice turn and sit and it prevents any forward motion, which is why I taught it to him. Once his, uh, his um, props were gone, then I got a couple of steps forward. So this has worked really, really well for him. So we wanna to refer to that video for the actual end product. Uh, what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to actually teach the go out and hit it. Um, and so the first thing that you wanna do is teach your dog how to do a paw shake. Um, and by doing that, um, the easiest way to do it, now Mighty already knows a paw, a paw shake, so, but how I taught it was I put the dog in a down and I have a tree in my fist and my fist is closed and, as, and they'll nudge it like this, exactly what he's doing. And I'm just gonna wait until, yes, and then he tries to move my hand with his foot and that's when I say yes and give him the treat. So I'll see that again. Yes, and then reward. Uh, if I had a clicker um, on me that I'd be clicking and giving him the treat. So that's the start, how to start a paw shake. And then from there what I'll do is I'll just take it up and I will bring it up so that it's a little bit higher, yes. And again, you can still do the same procedure where you keep the closed fist so the dog sees the same picture and he hits your hand, yes, and then reward, okay? Now from there, what I did was I went to a fly swatter so then I put um, the tree behind a fly swatter like this. Yes. Okay. And he hit the swatter. Yes. Excellent. And then I put the swatter on my leg. Yes. And reward. Yes. And reward. And then so once I got a lot of success with that, then I took it to the to a wall. My sit. Sit. Yes. Yes, good boy. Now I'm gonna put a word to it. So I'm gonna tell him to, um, to smack, smack. Yes, good boy, very good. Sit, good, smack, yes, good boy. And then what I did from there was I just faded the uh, swatter away and I just, now I just tell him, go oh, smack. Yes, good boy, good. So what I want him to do is to go up like that and then hold that position like he's doing. Are you ready? Smack. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Stay. Okay, check. Very nice. And then what I did um, was when I started it was that I put a, a wire on either on either side here just to make sure that I continue to get that nice turn and set um, or the nice tight turn. And then I would just do this. I would send him from here. Ready? Go smack. Yes, excellent, smack. And then I reward, go up and reward him for the smack. Got a treat caught in his throat. Here you go, buddy. Good, okay, and then once I got that, here, buddy. Once I got that, then I also just put in the turn and sit so it would look like this. Ready? Smack, buddy, sit. Perfect. Now the wire, which I'm just going to um, grab quickly to show you, just wait there. So you can see how he's just a little bit crooked. So what I'm gonna do is just make sure, I don't wanna uh, start, um, excellent. I'll make sure that I maintain that nice tight sit. Run, smack, smack. 
Okay. And try that again. Here, here. Getting a little confused. It's all right. It's all right. You ready? Smack. Yes. Makes it. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Good boy. Good. Okay. Two. Run. Smack. Mighty sit. Very nice. Very nice. So what I really, really like is he's right up against the wall. There was no walking forward. Um, I need to tighten up this a little bit because I need him a little bit straighter, but that's just by, I would just put the wire a little bit tighter um, and build that so that he has the ability to be able to muscle memory, a nice jump, turn, and sit. Now, if I don't tell him to hit the wall, then he's going to do a turn and sit. So that would look like this. You ready? Okay. Here, bud. Ready? Two. Run. Mighty. Sit. Perfect. Good boy. Very nice. Okay, so you saw if I gave him the command to turn and sit, that's what he did. If I give him the command to hit it or smack, then he'll hit the wall, and then I can ask him to turn and sit. So that was excellent. Okay, so that shows you from the very starting to this. And now if you go to this, the uh, Go Out and Hit It video, you'll see the second part of the uh, training process of this. Good job, matey.